Jesse is with us in Los Angeles. Hi, Jesse. How are you? I'm doing good, Dave. How are you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Thanks for taking my call. Um, my husband and I are wondering if we should stay in the current rental situation we are in or move to a new one. We are currently in baby step two. Okay. Renting is short term. It's camping until you get your other goals hit, right? Yes. So we want to pay the cheapest possible that is reasonable for our family to camp. Absolutely. So which one's more expensive? Moving. Why would you move? Um, we're just, we're having some issues with the, with, with the place that need to be patched and um, we our, re- our lease is up in a couple weeks here, and there's some <clears throat> water damage that needs to be fixed, and the drywall needs to be patched, and three inspectors have been out to look at it, but no one's been hired to fix it, and we don't have a timeline on when the drywall is going to be taken care of, and there has there's the inspectors were mold inspectors, and they said that it was inconclusive, everything's dry, but there are spores, so we're just trying to figure out, you know, if it's really actually a safe place for us to stay um, and try to navigate that and figure out how to work with the property managers until we're able to even find a new lease. Okay. Well, number one is if you're not safe, you're moving. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. not That's not an issue. Um, Mm -hmm. Number two, mold spores can mean a lot of different things. I don't know whether you've got a mold-infested property here and your family's not safe or whether there's one corner that has three little spots in it and somebody did a swab Mm -hmm. and found some spores. That will not make you sick. Okay. I mean, really, think about it. It's common sense. Any more than walking in the backyard will if if you're growing dandelions. I mean, you know, I mean, you get hay fever from Mm -hmm. that sneeze, too, but... It doesn't, it doesn't put you in the hospital, but your family's mm-hmm. not safe if you have a whole wall covered in the stuff. Okay. And so I don't know to what extent the mold eradication has been done, to what extent it needs to be done, and what the timeline mm-hmm. is and so forth. Um, but it sounds to me like you've got other issues, and this mold thing has just kind of brought it to the surface, uh, no pun mm-hmm. intended. Um, yeah. you know, meaning that you're just like kind of over these property managers that are half butt and you don't like this house anyway. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Okay. If you want to move, then, then let's just move. We don't have to blame it on the mold unless the mold is real and big enough mm-hmm. that it's a threat. Okay. Okay. So you can, you can check on that and decide for yourself. I mean, but I, th- I think, you know, how many square inches of this do you think you're dealing with? I, one foot by one foot? Maybe three by three. Feet? Feet, yeah. That's a lot. Just kind of, but, well, that's where the water damage is. We weren't able to see the results from the tests that were done. Okay. Um, that's because, a pretty substantial piece of damage, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, there, you may have a problem there. That, that's not a, okay. you know, but, I, I mean, I've had places where there was, something three inches by three inches and people go bananas, you know? Okay. Because I just don't want you to be that person. Uh, but, but you know, three feet by three feet, that's a dadgum leak that went on for a long time. Well, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's in a condo, and so the outside, the roof has been repaired. It's the inside drywall that is up to the owner to fix that hasn't been And how long has that been going on? The leak started in mid-December, and oh, okay. the roof was fixed about a month ago. Okay. All right. Well, I think you guys just have to decide two, th- two things. Number one, uh, you don't have to move up in rent. You can move yeah. laterally in rent if you need mm-hmm. to get out of there for safety's sake. So whatever you're paying now is your budget when you move because you're trying to get out of debt. And if you move every mm-hmm. dollar you pay in extra rent, because of this emotional situation, um, causes you to delay getting your house someday and getting out of debt someday, right? Yes. So we want to we want to limit that damage to your budget. That's what I'm after. So okay. either we're going to fix this and feel comfortable that your family's safe, or you're going to move mm-hmm. to something about the same price or cheaper. 
Now, if you can find something cheaper, that kind of makes it a no-brainer. Um, mm -hmm. So then I guess what I would do is I would, I would get on the phone with a property manager and say, okay, we need some definite guidelines. We are not renewing a one-year lease un in the, under these circumstances. We are mm -hmm. going to agree to give you 30 days to fix this. If it is fixed to our satisfaction during that 30 days, then we will renew. If you're willing okay. to do that at all, okay? But if you decide, mm -hmm. if they fix it right and they fix it within 30 days and we feel like our family's safe, then that's fine. Then just call the property manager and go, look, you know, I'm not, you're, you're not going to have this done within 20 days. And so until you get this done, it's not fair for you to ask us to sign a long-term lease because we need to know that this property is going to be repaired. This has been going on for six or eight months now. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you need to give us a, a, an extension 30 days at a time and, uh, until you get it repaired or until we run out of patience with you getting it repaired. If during this 30 days you get it fixed to our satisfaction and the mold is all removed and eradicated and there's no issue for our family's health, we will stay for one more year. We will sign a lease or you just make the decision to move, whichever one you want to do. I don't care. But don't move up in rent. And, the, and then you just lay it out for the property manager and say, these are the terms under which I will stay. If you want me to stay, you're going to do this in, in a reasonable timeline. And, you know, to expect them to have it all the work done and you to be satisfied in 20 days is probably a lot to expect since it's been going on six months. So I'm going to give them 30 days more, but I'm not going to sign a long-term lease during that time until they prove out and say, hey, we're going to take care of business here. We're going to do this properly. And uh, sometimes folks in the property management business just need a little fire lit under them. <laughs> no pun intended there either. Uh, so, hey, thanks for the call. We appreciate you joining us. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.